Hi, this is Barb Cooper from HelpMySquashGame.com. Great to see you on the show. I hope your squash is really doing well and that these tips are helping you. And you know, here in Toronto now, it's spring. I love spring because that takes me back to kayaking and kayaking is probably my second love. Um, and I loved being on the water. And the one thing I took away from it that I want to share with you this, this show is if you're in a kayak, you can't be stiff. You actually have to go with the flow of the water. You have to be relaxed as you're doing stuff. Squash is the same. You need to be present and thinking about hitting the ball literally as though you were standing in a kayak. So you've got that kind of soft, centered balance as you strike the ball. As soon as you're not in that position, the problem is that your recovery is going to be compromised besides your striking of the ball. So when you think about getting to a ball and arriving as though you were standing in a kayak, you're thinking about where your body weight wants to go. And it's always going towards the first wall. So if I'm trying to hit deep to the back corner and I'm hitting directly to the front wall, that's where I want my body weight to be going. I'm always trying to arrive around the time I want to strike the ball because that's the most efficient. If I can do that, I have what's known as a plyometric response. So as I put my foot down to hit the ball, there's a kind of recoil as I bend my knee and then I'm able to come back off it to be able to recover back to the tee. And as all of you know, you definitely want to recover back to the tee because you want to pull your shorts up. And remember, you never want to have that rear end hanging out. So if it is, you want to be re recovering very efficiently. Again, when we're talking about this soft balance in a kayak, I'm actually looking at the body being centered and the upper body sitting over your legs. The more you can do that, the easier it is to recover. The moment that your shoulders go out over your knees, now you're in a potential position where you're going to hurt your back, recovery is going to be difficult, and your body is actually compromised. So think about that when you're playing. And to help you train it, I want to show you a technique that you could use on an extreme board. Now you've seen the extreme board before because I've used it in planking. But now I'm going to use it to stand on and create some real solid balance in my legs so that I can recover and I have a sense of what my upper body is doing and I can comfortably train this soft balance. Check it out. Okay, so here we go. I'm standing on the extreme board and you can see one piece is down on the ground so I'm stable. Now, I'm going to try and get both of them to stay off the ground. And make no mistake, I'm working to make this happen. When I feel like I've got it really centered, oh, oh, oh it's going. This is great for skiers. When I feel like I've got it centered and I'm starting to relax a bit, then maybe I could even start thinking about moving my body, moving my arms a bit. That's going to throw my balance. Now I want to center it again. There's your challenge. Do it in front of the TV. And make no mistake, you're working. Now going on from there, again, we're looking at books and I'm trying to give you this, this sort of resources that will all tie into this idea of balance and recovery. And the book I want to show you today is High Performance Sports Conditioning with Bill Foran. This is a fantastic book and the thing I like about it most is it's got pictures. So. It's going to show you all sorts of ways of stretching. It shows you ways of plyometrics. It shows you ways of training. It will actually create it so that it's good for any sport. So 
you could look up soccer if you wanted to play soccer, you could look up tennis, um, you could look up baseball. So this book is fantastic. I know it says high performance uh, sports conditioning, but honestly, anybody who's an athlete who wants to get a little fitter and wants to make it relevant to their own sport, this is a great resource to check out. Um, I think you'll find it easy to read and it lays out the training and everything else very, very simply. So remember, it's High Performance Sports Conditioning with Bill Foran, a really, really useful resource. And the question I had today with Ask Bob was from Abdullah. Now he's in Pakistan and he's asking me about how to create explosive speed. Explosive speed is really, really important. It's actually called plyometrics and that's just a fancy name for being able to jump. So when you want to create this explosive speed in your body, this is something that's going to take a while. You should look at a three month training program, honestly, before you get any real gains. Um, but basically what I'm telling you is it's bounding. Now bounding is incredibly expensive in terms of energy production. So when you do this training, I need you to train for 10 seconds and take 50 seconds off. So you're training in minute cycles. I'm asking you to do eight sets, which is eight minutes, take a break, and do three eight minute sets. And in the break, you could take as long as five minutes. What I want you to do is stretch. Now, when we're talking about these sets, what I'm suggesting you do is this, 10 seconds of bounding. Now you can bound up bleachers. You can bound off bleachers and jump up again. You could bound upstairs. You could do it off one leg. You could do it off two legs. You could do it alternate legs. You could bound along the way so that you're going, you're kind of doing lunging jumps. But really work for 10 seconds, take 50 seconds off. This over a three month period, if you do it three times a week, I guarantee you, you're gonna get so strong you, that first stride from the tee is going to be really powerful. That gets you to the ball quickly, that means you get back quickly, and the whole point is you want to make sure you are, remember, pulling your shorts up from the last show, okay? So you definitely do not want your rear end hanging out. Anyway, this is Barb Cooper from HelpMySquashGame.com, signing off.